Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rinse at a time, back with a dynamic duo of EVC Homes, Cletus and Aaron. How you doing, Cletus? Living the dream, my brother. There you go. And Aaron, how are you? I am fabulous. Awesome. So what uh, we just had an awesome video in number one, talking about your business, how the pandemic kind of created a little air pocket, how you pivoted. You wrote a 41K check to kind of get some people paid back, and you've been dominated since. Your business is stronger today than it was then. But I want to talk about what I believe is your superpower. Uh, I believe both of you have it, which is just awesome. And again, it's something that people listening to this really should take to heart. You guys do everything with zero marketing dollars, I believe. You're not doing direct mail, no virtual assistants, no, none of these things, no driving for dollars. It's all your network. Yep. Your net, you, your deals come from network. Your private money comes from network. When we have problems at you know, million dollar flips, it's your network. Yep. This, this, this has been since day one. You guys were on my channel two, three, four years ago network i mean talk about your superpower maybe we'll go to aaron first has it just always been that way is it are you just natural is did you have to work at it i mean talk about this superpower well i think in the beginning you know from all the teachings and you know everything that we've we've learned um you start with bandit signs you start wholesaling you, you know you start cold calling, all that stuff. You go get lists from the county or your title company. And, you know, we, we tried that. It didn't work well for us because we still do have our full-time jobs. And mm -hmm. I mean, back then they weren't as high powered, but they, they're pretty, they're pretty the big bandit. jobs. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's not always, you know, feasible for us to answer the phone if a, a direct, yeah. you know, a, a sales com a call comes in. So you know, we, we tried the, the drip campaign and it just, it didn't work out for us. Um, our bandit signs, people were calling to see if we had rentals. We're like, no, we want to buy. Yeah. Um, it just, we're just like, okay. So we, you know, the first year that we were in business, which was back in 2014, we started January 12th of 2014. Um, we just focused that year on education and networking. So mm. we went to every meetup, every, you know, anybody that we would meet in the meetups, we'd say, Hey, let's go grab coffee and, and talk and, and see, you know, what you're doing and, and how we can help you while we're learning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's just, I think because we genuinely care about people mm -hmm. and we want to help people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what sets us apart from, you know, others. Yeah. And it comes through. Cletus, you have it as well. I think that's one of the powers. Sometimes when you work with couples, one of them is kind of outgoing. The other one's kind of behind the scenes. I see both of you uh, kind of, you know, just doing it together. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, that's something that we've been able to do that a lot of couples struggle with is be able to, you know, be who, you know, and do what we do is, you know, without any conflict or issues or whose role is this? You know, we defined our roles immediately in the beginning. You know, Aaron's all the design and, and she controls what, you know, what we're doing on the rehabs and stuff. And I manage, uh, you know, the people and the contractors and the private money pieces. Mm -hmm. And um, together, you know, we 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 just said from the beginning and is that we were going to be, you know, uh, one is always put ourselves before anything else as far as our relationship. You know, mm -hmm. our relationship becomes before anything else. But we have a very healthy and, and, and great relationship. So we are able to, you know, go out and do what we do because that solid foundation, Sure. Uh, you know, we, uh, networking has been and relationships has been the most critical part of our whole business from day one, because we, like Aaron said, we quickly identified doing a $5,000 mail campaign and this thing, that's not us. Right. So, we wanted to go out and build relationships and then leverage those relationships. So for the last, what, eight years, how many years we've we been doing this, honey? Almost nine. Since um, 2014. Since 2014. Wow. All of our deals have come from either pocket deals, wholesale relationships. It's 100% relationships. I zero, want people to hear that. It's zero easy. marketing dollars spent and zero overhead. We don't, we, we're not like anybody else. We're very unique. Um, we 
used to six years ago worry about where the next deal was coming and if we were going to have it and it kind of created stress but to mm -hmm. be honest with you god has blessed us by us always looking to help somebody else before we look for anything in return by keeping deal after deal and coming to us and hand it to us basically yeah no but with no competition yeah that's the, again this is what i want people because again i think we're heading into a market like nothing I've seen in 30 years, right? I've been looking at the real estate market every day for almost 30 years. And we're heading into a market where transactions are going to go down without question. Uh, we are going to see supply destruction, meaning people who are thinking about selling won't sell because they have low interest rates or they'll wait to next year. But buried underneath all of that noise are going to be motivated sellers. Some have to sell. Some will choose to sell if they have the right relationship, right? If they're dealing with a buyer who talks and learns. And this is why I think the market that is coming, which is like right around the corner, I think we have a little bit of noise in September. But by October 1st, I'm telling people it's going to be the time to really leverage your network and tell people what you're buying and listen. Because sellers will need to sell, but it may not be for cash. There may be other things going on that that is is... It's going to be there. So somebody who has spent the last eight years building relationships and telling every agent and every wholesaler and every flipper what you guys buy, you're 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 going to have the pick of the litter. It the people are EVC Homes performs, has access to multiple private money. Where you're stronger today than two years ago, it's going to be fun to watch. It's it's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, we have a, a really good mentor, Mark Navarro. I don't know if you know who he is, mm -hmm. owner of California Funding, been in, in you know around as long as you and you know, some of the other long-term people have seen all the crashes in the markets and keeps his thumb and finger on 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 the daily news of what's happening in it. And, and he he he's always been able to project our future from day one. You know, he he loaned us our first our six hard money deals. Uh, first six flips was with him nice. and he told us you're not going to need need us private money is going to chase you guys exactly. you got a great product you got a unique set of skills and you and Aaron are doing something that hasn't been done which mm -hmm. is quality and branding and marketing yeah. pieces where you put a product out that is by far the best that's around and even when it comes to times that are like coming now our product when there's going to be more inventory people are going to come to our product before they go to these other products because of the finishes and the quality of the, of the flip. Yeah. I mean, just, I mean per, great example. The last walkthrough video we have, again, I'll call it the black house. I don't know what else to call it um, in, in the tower. Um, you set the price point and it's closed, right? It's, it's off the yeah, book. It, it closed. What? A couple of days ago. Yeah. We Thursday. Could go, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thursday. So again, um, I, I love, that was the one with the back green backsplash, right? And the gold accents. That was amazing. I'm like, I love that. That, that was that was a, and that was clearly an Aaron touch. I'm Cletus. That's not you, right? No, <laughs> that, was, that was actually Tori and Mike and Aaron co collaborated. It's a combination. Yeah, it, it was it was majority ruled. No, actually, Mike Michael. The tile set in there. Yeah, he was like, man, I like that green. I was like, you know what? That green is gonna work. Yeah. That green might bring all the money, and it did. Yeah, you know, yeah. for me, when they want to go bold and do things, Aaron, I always embrace her, especially when you're in a tower, you can go bold. Mm -hmm. You can do things that you can't do on the north side. of. Oh, yeah, that was definitely a tower house. Yeah, a tower house, right? All black, all you can do th these things. Uh, yeah. So I was like, yes, do what you want to do. And, you know, I'll manage this, these the pieces. Yeah. I manage. But yeah, here's your opportunity to go bold inside yeah. now, right? Yeah. And again, I, th I think what's coming to the market uh, and again, why you guys will dominate both your lead sources are just going to keep you fed. You're going to you're going to probably have to say no to opportunities because that's there what I think are. is coming. Yeah. See, I can see your future. It's amazing. But people are going to come to your product because I th actually think there was um a market that was underserved the last two years and it was called FHA or VA buyers. Mm -hmm. I strongly suspect given the quality of work that you guys do that I'm just going to wild ass guess it a year from now, you're going to do 50 or 60% of your homes will go to FHA or VA buyers yep. just because it's, it's that market, right? They, they need finished stuff. They need stuff that passes those detailed inspections and they're going to come in with zero down in a VA case or three and a half percent down FHA that what you guys are producing 
at least the majority of the stuff is median and below, right? There's a couple of million dollar exceptions, but it, it's, you guys are going to have no problem. I don't think. Well, thank you. So I'm curious, have you done, have any of the most recent buyers? I'm just curious if it's already changing any FHA and VA buyers already or not quite yet. Yeah. We, uh, what's interesting is, um, we have a couple $300,000 houses, which just went into escrow. One's 350, one was three. One was FHA, one was conventional, but you know, it's, but it's coming. No, I did. Yeah. They, they're wanting, you know, so we're, when we're buying moving forward, we're looking at, you know, helping with closing costs. We're kind of grinding, ba those, baking that you know, in, baking it in because we've been there when we started in 2014, oh, yeah. it was first time home buyer market. It was FHA. We, we've slowed down the, the rehab time because we mm -hmm. wanted to make sure we had six months of season or 90. Yeah. 90, 90 days of season. Yeah, before you put it on the market or at least put it on a week before, and then you can date the contract or whatever. But yeah, uh, that, that whole piece is coming back. I and agree. We've already been there and done that. We, yeah. when we buy, we're already calculating, not just rehab and holding, but we're calculate, we're going to be calculating, you know, wanting three, uh, closing three percent or what are you thinking? Yeah. You know, those things baked in. I, like, I hope people just heard that, right? There's a lot of people flipping today. We've talked about getting tighter buy boxes. Jason and I talk every other week. He's staying below the median and tighter, but you guys just gave a gym there. You're baking in 3% of closing costs on the exit. And mm -hmm. if you get it, if you pay it, you're cool. But if you don't, you you got you got upside. I mean, it's genius. Wow, that's amazing. We, so, we operated that way for years. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the network because um, let's give Chris some shout. Chris has been on my channel, I think, a year or two ago. He is. I'm going to call him your number one agent. Don't know if that's true. Certainly feels that way. Talk about how you found him and in just that that strong relationship you've built over the years. Go ahead, Aaron. <laughs> kind of a funny story. So our previous private money lender that we were solely working with, I mean, he was our only private money lender. Um, he actually introduced us and he said, hey, I want you to go out and look at houses with this, you know, my agent and see how you guys mesh. Well, I don't know. We just like hit it off right from the very get go. Um, Anybody that would push their own hot rod out of their garage to put our classic truck in overnight is a winner in our book. <laughs> <laughs> Love Chris. Yes. Yeah, he's just a good dude. You know what I mean? He, he'll yeah. take a shirt off for anybody. Yeah. He's got a big heart and he always wants to help. You know, yeah. Chris it's, Sisler, yeah. am I saying that right? Sissel. 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 Yep. Sissel. He, uh, you know, me and Aaron work full-time jobs. So any lead that comes in, he's not only giving us the ARV and running numbers, but he's also going running to the property because we can't get there and yeah. take pictures and doing the footwork and doing anything he can to help us be successful. He's got yeah. the same mindset. How can I help you before he's thinking about himself? Right. And that's mm -hmm. who we are. So we're just like three. Yeah. People it's a, it's a great mesh. Yeah. Yeah. He was actually the one that brought us the Van S deal. He's like, oh. you guys have to, well, he called you, Cletus. You have to come see this house. Yeah. You guys have to flip this one. Yeah. This, this is, this is, this is EVC's gem. I, I'm so glad that that came together. And again, I look forward to getting the video and sharing it with our audience. Cause it's, it's amazing the before and after the, the journey of that. You held that for just over a year, right? Yeah. It was, uh, it was probably about, 18, 19 months. Yeah, a lot of that was city and, and all of that. Yeah, we had a six month delay. Yeah, it happens. This is this is so much fun. What what if you were gonna try to coach somebody, you know, maybe it's Cletus and Aaron in 2014, and knowing what you know today, what are two or three of the relationships that you would go start with? Because again, networking is your superpower. You have you have a network, a spider web that very few have. But what would be the two or three maybe you would start with? Well, I think we did from the very get-go. Um, you got to find your contractor. You got to okay. find your money yep. um, and your agent. And mm -hmm. I mean, if you have those three, that's that's like... That's enough to start. Yeah, those absolutely. Are, you know, for us, it's like Aaron said, from the beginning is getting a broker our office to where, you know, the broker's on board with you being an investor for the office, right? So the broker's mm -hmm. ears of all the agents under his umbrella. Mm -hmm. You know, like when we first started, we teamed up with uh, Manny Chavez, mm -hmm. who MC Real Estate mm -hmm. is 
uh, have, you know, he has Paul Claire and he has Jason Sabaji, which are very big investors that have been around for a long time. Then he brought us in. So they had enough opportunities and stuff for three investors to, out of the office. Just came a time over a couple of years that, where we needed to be number one instead of number three. Sure. And deals were being fed. Um, not that, you know, the relationship wasn't great and appreciated mm -hmm. and everything went well. And we still have a strong relationship there. Still uh, really close with the majority of them. Um, but I would suggest that finding a, a smaller brokerage or a, a, an agent who has been in the field for a long time and has a lot of established relationships, mm -hmm. that you can leverage all those relationships. Yeah. Just like Brad Hardy. When we, in 2016, when Brad and Wayne approached Aaron and I wanted to be partners and, and kind of, you know, they were mm -hmm. starting wanting to flirt on getting into flipping and stuff. Um, Brad's, we were able at that point to uh, leverage everything Brad and me have learned and done and gotten to, right? Mm -hmm. As far as just everything. So yeah. leveraging of those relationships is key and making sure that those relationships are further and um, bigger and better than you are. Yeah. You want to know where they're at, right? Mm -hmm. So don't go get a newbie and you're a newbie because you're both going to be like- You're just not going to, just swimming in circles. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. The other thing that I want people to hear on this network, maybe it's your money, your contractor and your agents. That's where you start. You're, you're dangerous at that point, but you kind of highlighted it in there. You never stop growing your network. Your spider web, as I called it, is as impressive today because you never stop networking. You're open to meeting more agents. Yes. Chris is your guy, but I guarantee you, if you look at your phone today, you probably have 50 or more agents in there because you just never know where their leads are going to come from. And you'll, you know, if they bring you a deal, I'm sure you'll do it. So you, you just never start growing that now network. Is that fair? That's fair. Yeah. So again, as we wrap up this impressive video, number two, again, think about what they said. They have an amazing business bigger today. We'll get into the details of the business in video number three, but networking is a superpower. No direct mail, no door knocking, no virtual assistance in the Philippines. Uh, they have full-time jobs networking is their superpower. Cletus, where can people find you guys? Um, TikTok, Instagram, um, Facebook. Primarily, I would say the biggest platform is Facebook. Um, okay. Cletus Shelton, um, Aaron Shelton, and EBC Homes. EBC Hello. Homes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, guys. I look forward to video number three. Thank you. Hey, Aaron.